Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Omar Farouk, said federal government spent over 500 million naira to feed school puppies in Abuja, Ogun, and Lagos State during the lockdown, and not 13 billion naira has been has been rumored. The minister, who has been under attack for concealing the amount spent so far, stated this in a statement by her special assistant on strategic communications. Halima Uyilade yesterday. Farouk explained, in recent days there have been rumors and innuendos and speculations around one of her key interventions, the homegrown school feeding programs which was modified and implemented in three states following a March 29th presidential directive. Each take-home ration is valued at 4,200 naira and that figure was not arrived at without proper consultation. It was not invented. According to the statistics from the NBS and CBN, a typical household of Nigeria has 5.6 to 6 members in its household, with 3 to 4 regarded as dependents, as so each household is assumed to have 3 children. Now, based on the original design of the homegrown School feeding program long before it was domiciled in the ministry. Every child on the program receives a meal a day. The meal costs 70 naira per child. When you take 20 school today, 20 school days per month, it means a child eats food worth 1,400 naira per month. Three children should be should then eat food worth 4,200 naira per month. This was how we arrived at the cost of the take-home ration. In the FCT, 29,609 households were impacted. Lagos recorded 37,589 households, while Ogun State was 60,391 households, making a total of 124,589 households impacted between May 14, 2020, and July 6, 2020. If 1,224,589 households received take home rations valued at 4,200 naira, the total figure will be 523 million naira, 273,800 naira. And note this was not spent daily. The FCT commenced first followed by Lagos before Ogun state it was not daily. So, she also clarified that she never said every Nigerian has received palliatives. He said, what I said is that every state government in Nigeria has received palliatives for onward distribution to the poorest of the poor in their state. The ministry will not be deterred from fulfilling its mandate also pointed out that very few government programs have received such high level of self-imposed scrutiny with the EFCC, CCB, ICPC, DSS, and a host of NGOs invited to monitor the homegrown school feeding program. Okay? You know, one thing with all of these, their programs, 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 people don't tend to see them. We don't even know what really happened because if really what she's saying because it was after i think it was after even when the uh, lockdown was eased was eased by the federal government that was when they now said oh they wanted to go into feeding of two, uh, students or, or, or puppies when people were not like the children are not in school or were not in school as as at that time that the children were not in school then why would you want to feed them there are a lot of people are crying that there's no palliatives this and that and that was when they now started that was around two months or so after this whole thing because if it's according to the mid 20 uh, march 29th i don't think people received received money or palaces or school uh, home school uh, the feeding of the school puppies i don't really know whether it happened because if it really it happened we would have seen it everybody would have seen it or maybe they gave the money to the state government Maybe on that note, whether they gave the money to the state government or they embarked on the so-called uh, homegrown uh, school feeding, they did it themselves. It's a different board game entirely. Well, if you see people, of course, you know, even we, we saw a lot of celebrities who were doing that. 
as at that time when the lockdown started, we we're giving people were going out, giving food and all of that. We were seeing all of those pictures. Why didn't we see it? The only time they started this uh, cash transfer was when she herself was in Abuja. That was where they started from. And it was it took time when people began to complain. They said they were going to transfer twenty thousand naira to people's accounts using a uh, BVN. But up to today, people did not receive anything. Of course, that is how they are going to be telling us all manner of stories. Even five hundred and twenty three million naira, whether whatever, did we see people on the streets? And how? What is the rate or what is the measure using knowing? The poorest of the poor. That is the language they've been using. Well, this is Nigeria that anything goes, anything happens. And it's unfortunate that a lot of people are complaining that why is it that they are in this kind of country? Because things are this thing these things are not really rocket science if they want to go the way it ought to go. There's no data, there's no whatever, no database, nothing, nothing. They just go, they do some things randomly and to them they have done enough. And this kind of people once they, when you see them, you think they know what they are doing. They cannot even advise themselves, even in the past governments too. That is how all of them will be carrying themselves as if they are educated, as if they are enlightened. But when they are applying a, a, some things to the project they are, they, are, they are carrying out, you'll just be surprised that why are these people so wicked? Do the right thing. We don't have database in this country and nobody is, 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 is perturbed. Nobody is concerned about that. They just want to be doing things in a good manner. If things are well organized, nobody will be raising an eyebrow. Nobody will be suspecting you because they will just go. People who are not documented, people who do not even have a, they don't even have records of people. They will just go there and maybe if they want to do some kind of a showmanship, they will bring camera and show, begin to take photographs or whatever of those few individuals. And that is what they will go and put in their record. Oh, we have done this, we have done that. You believe you me when twenty twenty three comes, that is those are the things that they are going to be pointing at. We did this, we did this, and people will not be wondering when did you do all of this things that we did not see. All these things are just audio, not videos. Even if the ones that they will tell you that they have done, they will just select few individuals. That is how it has been. It has been rolling. Well, you said not a uh, billions, but it's, they spent twenty. Uh, it is millions they spent, not a uh, billions. So and they will not be uh, moved by all these uh, rumors going out there well uh, when lies becomes part of of you whatever you say is always lies either it is true or not it is all lies you have lost your credibility so keep on your normal ways of life that's what somebody is advising uh sadia farouk day lie mohammed they learn where this woman they learn how can you feed children when there is lockdown madam minister hell is fire is waiting air fire is waiting for you for your type i'll be you and your enrich okay you're enriching your account with a covid 19 money continuing over two million naira you don't spend hmm. nigeria politicians can never change let them continue so guys let's hear your opinion leave your comment below and let's have your take on this